Before there were suicide bombers, there was the suicide prophet. He was also the robbery prophet and the sex with a nine-year-old girl prophet and the torture people for money prophet. He was many things. But make no mistake, Muhammad was the prophet of suicide. Oddly enough, his followers never seemed to know this, just as they never seemed to know anything about him, apart from the filtered, sanitized, and sterilized information they get from their lying scholars and apologists. Our Muslim friends are given a watered-down, whitewashed Walt Disney version of Muhammad that bears virtually no resemblance to the horrifying, perverted, and in all other ways disgusting figure we read about in Islam's most trusted sources. And because his followers never seem to know much about their prophet, they always, always, always assume I'm lying when I tell them what their sources say. In a video I posted last night, I mentioned that Muhammad tried repeatedly to commit suicide. But Muslims have never heard this before, so they have no clue what I'm talking about. What reference do you have regarding Muhammad, peace be upon him, wanted to commit suicide? The man who spent most of his life eating one date, one drop of olive oil, a even days past he and his family even didn't receive that also. Mecca people offered him, leave your religion, we will give you immense money, power, whatever you want. It was very easy for him to build alliance with Mecca, his own people, and get rich, get power. Even what money he got from Bibi Khadiza, he also gave them as charity. How can this be possible? A man who torched war victims, so money-loving, demo, post, has only one carpet with zoot-like material, one mug, one jar, when he died. Don't you see, brother, your words are moking at you. Brother, may Allah guide you to true and right path. Amin. I'm not sure what most of that has to do with anything, but the challenge for a reference was perfectly clear. So, where do Islam's most trusted sources say that Muhammad tried to kill himself? An easier question might be, where don't Islam's most trusted sources say that Muhammad tried to kill himself? Because Muhammad's suicide attempts are all over the place. But we'll look at one example. This hadith is long, so we'll skip to the part about Muhammad repeatedly trying to kill himself. Muhammad started receiving revelations, but the revelations eventually stopped coming. When the revelations stopped, Muhammad did what any most obvious false prophet in history would do. He headed to a cliff to jump off. And we read in Sahih al-Bukhari 6982, but after a few days, Wadaka died, and the divine revelation was also paused for a while, and the prophet became so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times to throw himself from the tops of high mountains. And every time he went up to the top of a mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear before him and say, O oh, Muhammad, you are indeed Allah's messenger in truth whereupon his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and would return home. And whenever the period of the coming of the revelation used to become long, he would do as before. But when he used to reach the top of a mountain, Jibreel would appear before him and say to him what he had said before. Notice a few things from this passage. The first time the revelations stopped, he intended several times to throw himself from the tops of high mountains. He didn't head for the mountains just once, he headed for them repeatedly. But every time he went up to the top of a mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear before him and say, O oh Muhammad, you are indeed Allah's messenger in truth. So the angel Gabriel had Muhammad on suicide watch. He had to talk Muhammad away from the edge of the cliff over and over and over. And there were other times when Muhammad would stop getting revelations for a while. What would Muhammad do? And whenever the period of the coming of the revelation used to become long, he would do as before. But when he used to reach the top of a mountain, Jibreel would appear before him and say to him what he had said before. So. 
Every time Gabriel stops bringing revelations to Muhammad, Muhammad climbs a mountain in order to kill himself. And Gabriel has to rush to the mountain to calm Muhammad down. Do you know what this sounds like? It sounds like one of those ex-boyfriends who calls up his ex-girlfriend and says, If you don't come back to me, I'm going to kill myself. I can't live without you. You get over here right now or I'll blow my brains out. I'll do it, I swear. That's exactly what Muhammad sounds like. Gabriel, if you keep ignoring me, I'm going to go jump off that cliff. I'll do it, I swear. How mentally stable is this man? Muslims, of all the prophets in all of history, you're going with the guy who headed to the nearest cliff whenever he didn't get his way? This is the guy you trust to tell you everything you need to know about the creator of the universe? This man belonged in a mental hospital. And there's more. Because Muhammad wasn't just suicidal when that demon masquerading as the angel Gabriel didn't call or text him for a few days. He was suicidal before he started receiving revelations, and he was suicidal when he started receiving revelations because he thought he was demon-possessed. So, before he was getting revelations, he was suicidal. When he was getting revelations, he was suicidal. When he stopped getting revelations, he was suicidal. You can say I'm making this up too, but think about it. How many times have you Muslims accused me of making stuff up and it turned out that I was actually making stuff up? So before you accuse me of lying, how about watching my video, Muhammad, the Suicidal Messenger? More facts about your fake prophet that you will never, ever hear from your imams. But you'll hear them from me, because unlike your imams, I want you to know the truth about your fake prophet.